everyone and welcome to Make It Monday. I'm Kieran Phipps, the Vinyl Decorating Specialist, and this is a special edition of Make It Monday. We're on a field trip because I get to play with a really fun new piece of equipment. So this is the uh, Roland VN20D. This is their direct-to-film printer. It's an entry-level printer, so this is perfect for all my crafter friends or small businesses who want to test the waters with direct to, uh, to film and see if this is right for them. So I wanted to show a little bit about how this machine works. So it runs off of VersaWork 6. So if you were making HTV transfers in your shop already, then you're going to be kind of familiar with the VersaWorks uh, program. So I'm going to go ahead and get this started. The way that this works is it uses a two color process. So we're gonna go ahead and print our color. Uh, and once that prints, then we'll put a white layer on top of that. That white layer of ink is gonna be used for um, putting the powder on uh, and, and holding that powder. So you want to powder your prints um, pretty soon, about 30 minutes after you get them off your printer. So our print is wet. If you can see, there's the color on the front and then the white on the back. Now what we need to do is we need to powder. So we're gonna get our powder. I've got a little container of powder here. Now this is a little trick where we've put it in a box that we can seal. That adhesive powder does not like humidity and humidity will cause it to clump. So what we're doing is we're putting it in a container that's sealed We've got some powder already in there, and you'll notice there's not a lot of powder in this box. It doesn't take a lot to get it to um, adhere. So we're gonna just take it in here, and we're gonna kinda shake it around, get that powder over the transfer, and that should do it. You'll notice I didn't have to do this for very long at all. And now, I'm gonna shake off the excess and we have a powdered transfer. Now from here, we need to go ahead and get this melted. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this under a heat press that I have on hover mode, and we're going to press it for about two minutes at 335 to 350 degrees. Just depending on the humidity in the area, it tends to just take a little bit longer when it's a little bit more humid. One other trick that we found whenever you're doing self powdering on these direct film transfers is you can put it your uh, powder in a little shaker bottle like this. It's airtight so you can kind of store it in there. When you start to get low on the powder in your box you can just shake it over the top and add some more to your box that way. You don't really want to breathe this in much uh, since we're not, we're doing it self powder and we're self contained, it's not that much of a problem, but also don't want it on your hands as much as possible either. So we suggest something like this. This is a really good trick to keep that powder off your hands. Okay, so now we have a pow uh, melted powder transfer, and now this is ready to either ship to customers, it's ready to apply whenever uh, you are, your customer is ready, or if you're going to go ahead and apply this to a garment, then we're gonna go ahead and do that on a black polyester shirt so I can show you the opacity of this white. It's a really great white. So I'm working off of two heat presses today, one to melt and then one to press. So let's get this shirt pressed. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and get this applied to this shirt. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply this at uh, 275 for um, about five seconds. I'm gonna let it cool and then I'm gonna repress again for about 10. We use Teflon sheets often, but sometimes it's fun just to use a, like a craft paper sheet as a Teflon sheet. Okay, then we're gonna go ahead and reapply this and let it pop up when it's done. I love these auto pop presses. When it's done, it's just gonna lift right up. We also carry those as well, just like so. Now the film that we're using is a cold peel film, which means I'm gonna let this cool down before I peel it. Um, you can get hot peel films available out there. The Roland film that we are using is that cold peel film. Um, so I'm doing everything I can to kind of get it to cool down a little bit so that we can get this peeled. The white on this particular design really shows well on this polyester black shirt. Um, and by the way, direct-to-film prints can go on polys, they can go on 
50-50s, they can go on tri blends, they can go on 100% cotton. So it's the best of both worlds of, of, of being able to put it on anything that you want and no weeding. If you'll notice, I printed, I shook the box, I melted that, uh, that adhesive, and then I pressed it. It was a pretty quick, simple process. Join us next time on Make It Monday. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Tell us what you think about this BN20. It's definitely a great entryway into direct-to-film. Thank you for watching. Be sure to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest to see more of my vinyl decorating tips and projects. I would love to see what you're working on, so make sure and tag me. See you next time.